top 10 tips for new dog adoptions. Set your dog up for success. Hi, I'm Alisa Lapinel and this is Rita Bola from Legends Dog Training. Today we would like to talk about the top 10 tips for newly adopted dogs. A study found that 30% of dogs are relinquished to the shelter each year because of destructive behavior inside and outside the home. Something as simple as a baby gate can keep your dog safe, prevent destructive behavior, and facilitate house training. When bringing a new dog home, you will need a safe, dog-proofed area to have him stay whenever he is unsupervised. Be sure to provide appropriate chewies. Chewing is a natural stress reliever for dogs and can provide a healthy outlet for dogs prone to separation anxiety. Remove any pillows, shoes, and other off-limit items that you would not want him to destroy. When properly conditioned, crates can also be extremely useful. They can prevent destructive behavior, accelerate house training, and they can facilitate behavioral training for dogs that exhibit fearful, anxious, hyperactive, or territorial behavior. Newly adopted dogs do not always transfer house training into their new home. Here's a simple solution to ensure that this is not a problem for your new dog. Pro tip number two, when bringing a new dog into your home, do not give her the opportunity to have an accident. Use a timer, create a schedule, and take your dog out at 30 minute intervals of time. Be sure to walk outside with her on leash carrying a high value reward. The moment that she finishes peeing or pooing, reward the behavior. Adjust the interval of time as your dog's potty habits become more predictable. Dogs, big or small, can and should be taught to finish their food in one sitting. This routine can help prevent behavioral issues. Feeding schedule. As a general rule, feed your dog two times per day. Use a measured cup to be sure that you are serving the appropriate amount. Never leave food out for your dog to graze throughout the day. Put your dog on a feeding schedule. Not only does this help to monitor their health, but it also facilitates training. Knowing how to read and respond to stress signals is a powerful way to prevent behavioral issues from ever developing. Dr. Sophia Yin has posters regarding reading body language and stress signals. We also highly recommend reading Dr. Sophia Yin's book, How to Behave So Your Dog Behaves. When introducing two dogs, first impressions count the most. Here's what you can do to ensure that your new dog and your resident dog get off to a strong start. Introduce the resident dog to the new dog on a long walk in neutral territory. Walk the dogs parallel to start. Once they both appear calm, you can allow them to sniff. Be patient. It might take 20 minutes or multiple introductions before the dogs are ready to greet. Before bringing your dogs into the house, pick up bones, toys, or anything that might trigger a fight. Neutrality is important during early stages of relationship development. Do you know the best way to introduce a dog to new people? The number one reason the dogs are surrendered is because of aggressive behavior towards people. Men are the most common target. Put your dog on leash if you are uncertain of how he will behave during greetings. People should never force unwanted interaction. Become an expert at reading your dog's body language and lead him away if you notice any signs of uncertainty or stress. The same applies when introducing a dog to a child. Supervise interactions closely. And if you're not able to, use a crate or a baby gate to separate the two. Training promotes good emotional health by establishing attention, impulse control, trust, and communication skills. Look for positive reinforcement trainers that make learning an enjoyable experience for your dog. Good, and then stop.
good. Walk forward 10 feet. Good. If you're interested in training with your dog, you may also need a training pouch. How do you treat? A clicker. Training toys. A long line. And the training mat. Provide opportunities for your dog to practice his natural instinct. This is a great way to burn energy and reduce stress that may otherwise contribute to behavioral issues. Activities that fulfill your dog's natural instinct can build confidence, be a great relationship builder, and also unleash your dog's full potential. Fill out the behavior assessment form on legendsdogtraining.com if you would like us to outline a customized training and wellness plan for you and your dog. A study found that 30% of dogs are... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just look at him. A study found... <laughs> simple as a baby gate can keep your dog safe can no no nope. your dog and your resident dog get off to a strong start hi my name is Elisa Lapinel and this is Rita Bola from Legends Dog Training should we say that together from Legends yeah. Dog Training <laughs> let's try <laughs> okay Oh, it was on? <coughs> from Legends Dog Training. Today we're here to talk about the top 10 tips for newly adopted dogs. I okay, didn't do it right because I said 10 and I showed 5. <laughs> I don't think you need to show any. Hi, I'm Elisa Lapinel and this is Rita Bola from Legends. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha